Jordan Love, what's your thoughts, man? Th does he deserve that type of money? 50 million a year? Hell yeah, he deserve it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he deserve it. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this, man. From what that man showed us last year after making him sit behind Aaron Rodgers for not one, but two years, what two years? And as soon as it as Aaron Rodgers leaves, y'all get rid of Aaron Rodgers, he steps right in and no growing pains. He takes y'all straight to the playoffs, and then they, they won a playoff game, correct? They beat the Cowboys. Yeah, they beat the Cowboys. Oh, my God. Right, so was, right. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. Hurry up. I was trolling, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, man. He, he he takes them to the second round of the playoffs on, on basically his rookie year starting. Um, Yeah, man, because, I mean, everybody getting these deals, I would want to go ahead and pay him now and not give him a chance to get better and command more money next year because uh, after next year, I think he's going to be an un uh, unrestricted free agent, right? Right. So I would want to go ahead and get this deal done. I'd pay him that little life 50 before I had to pay him uh, get get into that $300 million <laughs> uh, range. I'd go ahead and pay him. He deserves it. He's earned it. He showed you that he's a, he's a franchise quarterback just off of last year, and I, I just think that he should – um. They should go ahead and pay him. He deserves it. I mean, um, he was he was I think he was like a top 10 quarterback in a lot of um a lot of statistics last year. So I mean, you gotta pay the man. You gotta pay the man. He's uh arguably the best, the best quarterback in that division. You know, you got Jared Goff there. Um, Kirk Cousins is gone. And who else they got in that division? Uh, the Bears. Come on, man. Caleb Williams not going to be good yet. <laughs> he's not going to be better than him yet. So, you think I mean, he's a better quarterback than Jared Goff? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think he's a better quarterback than Jared Goff. I, um, I think he – um, I don't know. That's debatable. That's debatable at this point. Um, If he shows it, he got to show it to me again. He got to show it to me again because after he – uh, the reason why I even started paying more attention to him – and taking him serious is, is after he uh pulled off that comeback against my New Orleans Saints last year, and I think it was week four. And um they were down, they were down 17 nothing at the half, and he brought those boys all the way back, and he was legit ever since then. So, you know, I blame I blame that a lot on our defense for collapsing and for Jameis Winston Winston for not being able to put up a point um <laughs> and win that game, but he did his part, and um, I think he's really a legit. He's I a legit want, starter in this league, and he he's a he's a franchise I, quarterback. I wanted to add on what you just said. It's not a rebuttal or anything. Just to add on what you just said. So from what you were saying, Jordan Love was uh, second in touchdowns, seven in yards, and you know my favorite uh, quarterbacks that QBR. He was nine in QBR. So uh, um, that that's that's Jordan Love for you. And, and and here's another thing. Who was he throwing to? Man, exactly. come on, man. We can't <laughs> dis disrespect Romeo Dobbs, man. Bro, come That's on, man. a stud, bro. Watson was hurt, though. Majority Watson was hurt Watson, the whole year. Man. Come on, Watson man. was hurt the whole year. He was on my fantasy bench the whole year because he wouldn't play. And then when he got back, he wasn't doing nothing. Romeo Dobbs started off all right. I forgot the other dude that they had. He did Reed, okay. Reed's a monster. Reed, I think yeah. Reed's the best one of the group. Me. Wow. I don't know, man. I I, I thought Watson was going to there. Ro Romeo Calling Dobbs. Him. Um, Reed was cool. Calling I, him. I had Reed. I picked up Reed out the waiver wires. Uh, and he gave me a couple points one week. But um, yeah, man. I I, I just know he he's not throwing to studs. He didn't have a, a, well, a, a, a Mon Saint, uh, a Saint Brown on his well, team. X, well, X called Reed a monster, so, you know. X is exaggerating. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say nothing because y'all be hating in fantasy drafts. So just, <laughs> just chill out. No, you know, I ain't going to tell y'all too much. You good on but him. Go ahead, Yvonne. <laughs> okay. Um, does he deserve it? No. Um, but it is the market. So I understand it. Um, I'm hearing not only will he get 50 million a year, I'm hearing he's going to be the uh, highest paid quarterback ever. Wow. 
wow. at the time he gets this. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I heard from Tom Pelissero today on an in interview. Um, does he deserve it? No, just because it's one year. Um, I don't, you know, it was a great year. I don't want to knock him for it. He surprised me. I didn't think he'd be this good this early on. It seems like he took uh, advantage of his time with Aaron Rodgers. And um, I wouldn't pay him uh, over $50 million a year yet. I would go I would go into this season, I would franchise tag him and try to push it to next season. And if he balls out again next season, then I give him 50 million a year because you gave me multiple years. Um however, like I said, the market moves, the market moves you're gonna have to pay him more than that 50. And that's okay because I've seen it at least two years in a row, is what I'm saying. Like um right now, I just can't go off of one year. What if the Packers flunk and they don't make the playoffs? Then you're like, well, did we overpay? Did we this? So my thing is I would I need two years at least. Um, but I understand it. It's the market, and in three, four years, this uh contract won't look so bad. So uh he did he did win a playoff game, which is huge in your first year starting. He almost beat San Francisco in San Francisco, so you okay. gotta give him credit for that. Uh, like y'all said, he didn't even have Christian Watson most of the year. I agree. See, I think he's the best one out of the group when healthy. Um, so, um, like I said, I wouldn't give it to him yet, but I understand it's the market. The Packers are saving themselves money long term, and uh, I don't want to seem like a Jordan Love hater. I just need to see it one more time. Okay. I'm here to tell y'all, man. We talk about this on the show. I'm talking about contracts. And I keep telling y'all who you pay is the quarterback. I for sure would give him the $50 million. <laughs> and I wouldn't think twice about it. He's 25 years old. He's coming off of a playoff win. He had to replace Aaron Rodgers, who's top five, top ten all time in Green Bay. And we know what the legacy is in Green Bay as far as quarterback is concerned the last 20 years. They've had a Hall of Famer and another Hall of Famer, and he had to come behind that, and he proved it. He beat the Dallas Cowboys, which I love to say that. Let me say that one more time. He beat the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas, which I love. Um, <laughs> Gil, fix your face. And then, like y'all said, he almost knocked off the Niners. He almost knocked them off. But what happened? 50, he, he, you're right. He did lose. But here's my thing. Trevor Lawrence makes more than $50 million a year right now. Jerry Goff makes more than $50 million right now a year. Um, I think Justin Herbert makes more than $50 million a year. And I'm here to tell y'all, I love what Jerry Goff did last year, but I do think Jordan Love is better than Jerry Goff. I do. I think Jerry Goff's in a great situation, um, a great offensive coordinator, a team that just has a lot of weapons around him. He definitely has more weapons than um Jordan Love. So yeah, I, I would give Jordan Love the um 50 million. I don't know about the highest paid quarterback <laughs> that's pushing it. But if you're willing to bet on him, I mean, well, wait, you're probably gonna have to pay him north of uh, well not north, around 60 million if you wait next year, which I'm gonna try to save my little 10 million if I can. I'll give him the 50 million guarantee a lot. But I'm going to give him the money because I think 50, if they give him 50 million, that's around like the sixth or seventh highest paid quarterback, which based off the numbers Keo gave, even though it was one year, I'm okay with that. And I have not thinking twice about that. You got a franchise quarterback, go ahead and wrap that up. Get you a five year deal. Even if you want to go longer, you can. But five year deal, give him $50 million. And. Bet on your quarterback that you drafted. That's another thing. The, the Packers, man, I don't know how the hell they do it. How you go from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers now? And I, I gave Jordan Love a hard time when he was drafted. I'm like, hell nah. But obviously he sat. He learned from Aaron Rodgers. And I have no issue with you giving him $50 million after the year he just had. Well, I have a big issue with that because I'm definitely not giving him <laughs> damn no $50 million in the, a year based off of one season, man. If he the if he gets fifty million a year, we shouldn't have a problem with Brock Purdy getting fifty million a year. 
because Brock Purdy has That's accomplished fair. more than him. That's and, fair. And, and, That's fair. That, that, and, 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 and he did it off of one year, just one year. I, 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 when it comes to these Green Bay Packers quarterback, they are the most selfish quarterbacks ever, man. You talk about <laughs> Brett Favre, selfish. Aaron Rodgers, selfish. Here comes Jordan Love, Ow. selfish. <laughs> All you do is thinking about yourself, not thinking about the team success, <laughs> man. Why don't you? Why don't you go to training camp like like most most players do? I think Jamar Chase is at training camp and he's he wants a contract. And the GM says, "Hey, we can, we want to give you the contract. That you, I think you should do those type of things when you when you say, "Hey, I'm not going to camp because I'm because the the money the money's not there." I I start to question things, man, and and, and, it, and it becomes a distraction in the locker room. You're going into season. You just had a a, a good solid season, man, and and this is something to build on. And going taking it taking it up to the next step. And I, I just don't see Jordan Love as a 50 million dollar type of quarterback, despite the examples that X just just gave right now, which is a good point because you you are building on for a future, but I, I just can't do that off of one season alone. Cause we're cause we don't see CJ Stroud over here asking for some money even though you yeah, know it he, was he, it, he, it was sorry, his first like, sorry, like I know I know what you're gonna say it's his first season as a rookie Jordan Love three seasons we you know we know what happened his first two seasons he didn't really show much to see to so we could go off judgment of him and you know going into that third season he 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 put up some great numbers man uh, and and no I, I don't think nobody can deny that but i just i just cannot give you 50 million a year uh I, he just deserves a contract but just not 50 million for me just to give it some context um tom brady's highest nfl contract was 2 years for 50 million dollars with the buccaneers yeah, that's Tom Brady though, man. Like, yeah, but I mean, I'm saying he got that in two years, not one year. And Jordan Love is asking for that in one year. But it just shows yeah. you how the market changes. It's not that's because right. he's better. But he, but here's the deal with Jordan Love too. He's done everything that you asked for. When you think about it, he was a first round draft a core draft pick. He sat there and he could have not read his playbook he could have not sat there and learned anything and came in and was like it's my first year to start no nah, like he sat there he did everything you asked him to do he watched Aaron Rodgers learned from Aaron Rodgers and his first year starting he got you a playoff win and almost beat the NFC champs didn't do it but almost did it I don't know like I have no issue with you paying him especially when you got guys like Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence who got more than 50 million dollars a year it just is what it is. Yeah, like, but the, but Herbert, Herbert, a, Herbert and Lawrence, they 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 did they did they got those contracts based off of more than just one season, though. Let, yeah, let me, they have let me no playoff wins. wins. Hold up, let me say something real quick because you said something, and Keo said the same thing. And the thing about I hate this about the Green Bay quarterbacks, they always give so much credit to the guy who was before their starter. Like I remember when um when uh, Aaron Rodgers took over, oh, yeah, man, he sat and he studied under uh, under Brett Favre, and he came in and he was amazing and played nothing like Brett Favre. And I'm like, okay, so why are they giving Brett Favre all his credit instead of giving Aaron Rodgers his own credit? And now they're giving Aaron Rodgers credit for Jordan Love being ready and prepared to play, and he didn't play anything like Aaron Rodgers. He plays like himself. I I, I don't know what, the, what it is in Green Bay, and I remember, like, Aaron Brooks, <laughs> Aaron Brooks, uh, when he came when he came to the Saints and he started, he became my starting quarterback. I never forget every game they kept saying, "Yeah, he he studied a year under Brett Favre." This boy don't play like Brett Favre. It's like <laughs> you can't keep giving credit to these guys before because these guys hit the field and they're ready to play. Now it, it's it's good that they had time to sit, but I don't think that um. I don't think I think Brett Favre told Aaron Rodgers, I'm not helping you. Like he was like, you know, I'm not here to, to um to teach him how to play quarterback. And um I don't I just don't think they're doing that. I think these guys are coming in, they're they're doing like X says, they're coming in, studying their playbook, 
learning how to play the NFL game. And when it's their turn, when their name get called, they're ready to go hit the ground running. So, you know, I hate that. I just had to put that out there, man. I want, See, let, me I, add on. let me say let me say this too, though. You know what's so fire about Green Bay? Green Bay not only replaced them, they replaced them early where the guy is still in the league doing good things. And, yep. they, and they're confident enough to say, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. Yeah, Brett Favre is one of the best of all time. But we're confident in our decision. We're going to let that person go. We'll trade this person. We'll let that person, you know, lead. We're good on that. But I don't it? know. Like, to me, that takes guts to but sit there and say, we're going to let you go to play for another team, even though Brett Favre took the Vikings to AFC, I mean, NFC Championship game. You know Aaron Rodgers, a lot of people are picking the Jets to get to the Super Bowl this year because of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I, I actually agree. I actually disagree a little bit. See, I think uh, Jordan Love does play a lot like Aaron Rodgers. Last year I when I was when he when I was watching him in the pocket, he's bouncing just like him, and it's actually maybe it's because it's the same playbook. But I thought he actually did play a lot <laughs> like Aaron Rodgers. I thought he took a lot from him in terms of his play style. Actually, man. I didn't see it, man. I saw, I saw, I, I, I think uh, Aaron Rodgers. Had a lot. His athleticism is what put him, set him apart from other quarterbacks, and how he could throw from those different angles. Kind of like he was like he's like the OG Mahomes, you know. He could throw from all those different angles and um, on the run and stuff like that. I don't think I think he um I don't think Jordan Love has that. I think Jordan Love is more of a I think he's more of a pocket passer than um than Aaron Rodgers was. And, you know, even going back to Brett Favre, Brett Favre was the king of improv, improv, improvisation. Yeah, he was the king of improvisation. And uh, Aaron Rodgers came in and he didn't he didn't do that. That's not that wasn't his thing. I think he did. He, he was more athletic and he found an open man and got the ball to him. So I think that they all have three different playing styles and people just give them the credit just because they sat under them. I, I hate that.